A fisherman used to live in a small town. But that was a long time ago. When he was younger, he fished along the river every day. The fisherman put his net in the river. And waited for the fish to swim into it. Once they did, he pulled it up and started cleaning the fish. After a while, he put the things on the market and made money from them. He did the same things over and over again. On the other hand, he was fishing in the river one day. And it took him a long time to catch a fish. While he was waiting, he noticed something very strange. When he pulled the net back, he saw that it was holding a small fish. He got himself into a small temper. When the little fish saw the worried look on the fisherman's face, it came up with a plan to save itself. She begged the fisherman. Please don't take me off. I'm very small. But the fisherman didn't care in the least. He did not stop pulling the net. The fish begged us one more time. Oh, you poor fisherman. I feel bad for you. When you're in trouble, you waited for a long time. But I was the only one who came. I don't worry about dying. But I do worry about how much money you'll get for selling me. Very little. She told herself as an answer. After that, the fisherman started to pay her more attention. However, she went on to say. I've got a plan. If you'll just let me go home, I'll tell all my neighbors and friends how nice you are. And by tomorrow, I'll have put all of them in your fishing net and be waiting for you near the bank of the river. T. And you'll be able to catch them all with one sweep. He once stuck his head out. The smart fish kept trying. Though, and in a commanding voice asked, would you let me go back to my home, my river? Do you want to know what happened next? Did the fish escape or not? Stop the video. Subscribe the channel. Now let's go to words the next part of the story. The fisherman told himself. If I let her go, I'll be able to catch a lot of fish tomorrow with very little work. He said something like. And I'll make a lot of money, wow. The fisherman nodded and said. Yes, but don't forget your promise. The fish was about to ask the same question again. But the fisherman nodded and said. Yes, but don't forget your promise. Hooray. She announced, I'm going back home. She left after that. The fisherman smiled to himself as he put the baby fish back into the water. But what happens next? Did she keep her promise? The fisherman went back to the riverbank the next day to try to catch the small fish he had seen the day before. But he didn't catch anything. The fish didn't get out of the tank by swimming. You know very well. Like me. Why small fish didn't return. She used her mind and dodged the greedy fisherman. So the moral of this story is that you just have to think actively that how to get rid of these greedy people when you accidentally fall into their trap. I hope you liked today's story, if you want to listen to more stories like this subscribe to our channel and wait for the next story. Bye bye.